Margaret is currently faced a daunting paradox. 91% of consumers say they are more likely to shop with brands that provide personalized offers and recommendations. Meanwhile, 81% of respondents say the potential risk of data collection by companies outweigh the benefits. In our recent webinar with ARF, we uncovered how marketers can align personalization and data privacy efforts to optimize the customer experience. Our panel featured speakers from Amazon Alexa, Banner Health, and Hawk Partners to share their best practices in providing customers with a personalized experience and to ensure that their data is secure and being used responsibly. Here are some highlights from our conversation. Just sort of starting with a very high level strategic assessment. When you think about, again, the goal being optimizing your brand's customer experience as it relates to using personal data to, to customize the experience, right? So number one is like, there's an internal component, right? How important is personal data to our overall business model, our value proposition? How integral is it to the customer experience itself? Kind of really understanding that's the, the, the starting point, right? And then the external part, um, really diving deep to understand what are your customer needs, um, your, their preferences, their frustrations. Then the next level down is really kind of digging a lot deeper into our data, our policies, our communications. So this, you know, would involve your brand and product managers, your engineering teams, your data privacy teams, Marcom, training, etc. Really just understanding what data are we collecting? How secure is that data? Are we collecting more data than we need? And then lastly, you know, coming out of these first two assessments, you're likely to have potentially some changes that would um, hopefully improve the customer experience. So, you know, what kind of changes need to happen with our policies? What kind of changes with the way we communicate those? And importantly, how well do customers actually understand both the features and the policies? Do they get it? Um, and what's the likely impact of these changes on the brand and the CX? The marketer is the one who is always trying to push the boundaries. So they are by definition wanting to push the boundaries of what they can do with personalization. And then they have all these people are saying, no, no, you can't do that. Um, and that is, I think the role that all marketers have with the brand data and the data strategy. So I think one of the biggest practical considerations is something we touched on which is what is the Goldilocks principle for your customer data? So too much and you, you're drowning in a sea of data without much information, too little, you cannot add value. How is it that you get that Goldilocks just right enough? Because everything you do with your brand's data strategy is based on what is in a customer mark someplace making sure you're really clear on that because operationally that is going to drive your marketing tech stack all of the campaigns that you drive and that's just a very real practical consideration i think this is a great tool for whoever you know whether it's the marketer or the product management and then also you provide the tech team with the data that they may need to improve algorithms and you get to generate learnings that all of the teams that are required to bring a product market to market uh, can learn from so however you want to pull it off i think it's really important to have kind of a formalized and empowered checker in, in this process. Else, you know, you can kind of end up maybe launching a product that, that doesn't sort of abide by your best practices in terms of privacy. And then the third thing I'll just say, just goes without saying, is like put the customer first, always. It helps so much when you're getting into these debates and discussions to just be able to come back to, hey, is what we're really doing here best for the customer? And I find that uh, in companies where that's part of the culture and DNA, it's just, it, it is super beneficial uh, when you're dealing with thorny issues around personalization and data privacy. And I just think, just want to reiterate, A, what Adrian said about it all starts with the customer. And number two, I think just thinking how you can balance these two competing uh, needs. Um, and, and I do think offering the customer more, more control is really going to be the key uh, in the future for brands that, that win in this space.